Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike and today is a very, very special and exciting day because Valve have literally just dropped the brand new Half-Life Alex VR trailer and this is the first time I've watched this trailer so it's going to be a live reaction of me watching the trailer and then I can talk more about my thoughts on the reveal afterwards. So without further ado, let's dive in. Holy crap. Oh! Alex? Alex? I'm here. So what's the plan? Yes! What we're doing here could change things forever. Oh my god. There's no straight shot to the vault. I'm gonna head inside, find a way out. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. You're gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now. <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! Combine ten is really picking up. They know you're coming. You need to get out of here now. Oh my god! This looks amazing. Oh god! They've got Dad. They're gonna find out what he knows, and then they're gonna kill him. All this is my fault. I never told you. I couldn't. I'm so sorry, baby. You will not save him. Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. Close your eyes, honey! Oh! <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, there's more! March! <laughs> oh my days. I am beyond hyped. This is incredible. We're getting a full Half-Life game in virtual reality coming in March 2020. Finally, we have a, a reason, a justification to spend our hard-earned cash on one of these, which is, of course... A Valve Index. Now I've had this headset since it launched and the biggest disappointment for me about this headset, I think it's a great headset overall, one of the best uh, on the market right now, but it was just the lack of content really that really took advantage of this headset. So I'm so excited that uh, Half-Life Alex, you know, really looks like it's going to take advantage of this headset and more importantly, the Valve Index controllers, which are these controllers here, uh, which have, um, you know, individual finger tracking built into the grip. So you're really going to have that amazing uh, immersive experience by using these controllers in this game. And I think, you know, if you're interested in playing Half-Life Alex in VR, which is going to be the only way you can play this game, by the way. Uh, sorry to disappoint you if you're looking to play this on a traditional monitor or TV. It's just not going to happen. This is a, a VR exclusive title. Uh, and I think Valve did the right thing. But the thing is, um, this headset is probably going to sell out very quickly now that this announcement trailer has dropped. So if you are interested in buying a headset, I would jump in there right now. Uh, is It isn't exactly cheap. You know, it's like a thousand US dollars for the headset. Plus, you're going to have to have a decent gaming PC to run a headset like this. So you're, you're probably looking overall about 2000 US dollars uh, for a decent PC and this headset bundle. Um, but oh man, like this game, it really looks like it's going to be uh, an amazing VR experience. Now, let me just tra play the trailer again in the background where we can sort of break this down a little more and pause it. In, in some of the elements so we can discuss it in a little bit more detail. You know, we've been waiting all this time for a Half-Life game, so I'm just so, so happy it's happening. Like, it feels like I've been waiting my whole life for this announcement, but, you know, even if the, in this very early scene uh, in the trailer, it looks great, the lighting looks great, the little details of, like, the little dust particles floating around looks incredible. And this is where we kind of get our first look of the glove. Um, so you've got these hands, obviously, that you can see. It's a, it's a bit strange that they haven't included the whole arms, which a lot of other VR games have done really well, particularly like Stormland, which just came out recently on the Oculus Rift. And we get a little look of a creature there. 
It doesn't quite look like a head crab. It looks like something with a tail, so that's going to be kind of interesting. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's got a tail, which... Oh! And this is the bit that made me jump uh, when I watched the trailer. And this is, of course, the iconic head crab from the Half-Life series. And if you don't know who Alex is, she's a predominant character, by the way, in Half-Life 2. Oh, that's going to be terrifying Alex? in VR. Alex! I'm here. So what's the plan? If we can get this weapon, what we're doing here could change things forever. There's no... Wow. And we can see some combine soldiers here uh, and, a, and a kind of walker with a platform on the top. Wow. If the game like looks this good in the headset, it's really going to be stunning. Straight shot to the vault. I'm going to head inside. And here, like, this is where we first got a glimpse of kind of like the puzzle elements. And it looks like uh, Alex has got like a kind of scanning device, uh, which you can use to solve some of the puzzles in the game. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. And look at that. Like, the, the, I love the kind of like hacked together uh, components on the hands. And it looks like on the left there, we've got like a little sort of health uh, sort of bar meter, maybe with the three hearts. Um... Yeah. You're gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. <laughs> it's unloaded now. I thought that was really cool. And and you just saw there, like, there's a, a kind of a telekinesis grab uh, feature, so you don't have to physically go and pick everything up. You can sort of, you know, telekinesis an item to your hands, which is uh, which is neat. And manually reloading the gun. Oh man. That's going to be so freaking cool. Manually reloading the gun under the pressure of having a head crap running around or a combine soldier running around is going to be really cool. And now we can get a better look at the, the glove again. And you can see she's only got one heart in this. So that must be your, your health indicator. But it's great to see that there's going to be some hand interaction elements here, as you can see in this little uh, sort of button or feature that she's pushing on. Oh, that is the health station, of course. Let's go back quickly. I just want to check that out. Ah, that is the health station where, of course, in the previous Half-Life games, that's how you regain your health. And it's got that epic sound as well that goes with it. And as we can see, we can see like a zombie sort of person with a head crab that's taken over them right there. Wow. And this bit really uh, surprised me as well. You can see that she's pushing items away on the shelf to clear room. So everything's kind of got that kind of physics-based grounded reality to it. So you can actually brush items to one side to grab the ammo at the back there. Oh, man. They've got... So this is Alex's father. He's a scientist that you meet in Half-Life 2 as Gordon Freeman. But of course, in this game, you're going to be playing as Alex herself. Yeah. They're going to find out what he knows, and then they're going to kill him. Oh, this is my fault. I never told you. I couldn't. I'm so sorry, baby. You will not save him. Oh, that, that, that view of the head crab stumping down the hallway. Oh, it gets my, my hair standing on end. Gives me goosebumps. Alex Bams for love. Again, some more sort of puzzle elements. Being able to take items from the guards using the telekinesis ability. Oh, cannot prevent his fate. The lighting and everything looks great. Oh, man. And this is the bit that I didn't realize was coming at the end. Of course, it's the G-Man himself, the mastermind behind it all. And it's coming March 2020, halflife.com. And the thing is, although it shows the Valve Index logo, it also shows Vive, Oculus and Windows MR. So, you know, although the game is likely going to be best played on the Index because of the uh, individual finger tracking that you've got, you will be able to play it on other VR headsets as well, uh, which is great to hear. So just like, you know, the, the Aperture Hand Labs experience, which was, you know, one of those introductory experiences to show you what the finger tracking was like on the Valve Index, that worked with other headsets as well. So it's going to be the same with this game as well. Um, 
But yeah, I've been a big fan of the Half-Life series. You know, I remember playing the original games back in the day. It's been a while since I've played them. Um, but I know, you know, and I know the thing is, although a lot of us in the VR space, you know, I've, I've been creating content on YouTube now about VR for almost three years now. And like, I'm beyond excited the, the fact that this game is coming to, to VR. But I know a lot of gamers out there, traditional gamers, aren't so happy about it. Um, and the thing is, you know, Valve are always pushing boundaries. Obviously, they've just released their new hardware, which is the Valve Index headset. But this was the same deal back uh, when Half-Life 2 came out. You know, it was really pushing the boundaries of what was possible in a video game. Uh, it was using a lot of physics-based puzzles and mechanics uh, that a lot of graphics cards at the time just couldn't handle. And you had to go out there and upgrade to a brand new graphics card. So it's not really a new thing, you know, having to invest to play the latest Half-Life game. Same with the original game as well. It was one of the most graphically demanding games of its time. So I'm, I'm really happy that Valve are pushing the boundaries, but I can understand why the backlash is there because, you know, let's be honest about it, a thousand bucks for a headset like this, you know, the complete bundle is a lot of money. But with that, you're getting the most, you know, cutting edge gaming experience you could possibly imagine. And it's from Valve, so you know it's going to be epic. Uh, you know, if this game is like you know a twelve a twelve hour VR game, oh, man, it's going to sell heads headsets like crazy. So I'm very very excited about it. But of course, you don't have to spend a thousand bucks on a headset like this. You can buy the Oculus Rift S, or you could buy the Quest and use a link cable to play this. As long as your PC is up to scratch, you know you can do it that way. And if you're interested to learn more about you know the the current headsets that are available on the market right now, with a little breakdown of each of the headsets, I've done a video about that, which I'll sort of link up here now, so you can go and check that out. Um, but I'm very, very happy that this looks like it's going to be a full, fully fledged Half-Life game. And oh, yeah, I'm just so, so happy. But I'd love to know what you guys and girls think in the comments. You know, are you excited the fact that this is coming to VR? Or are you a traditional gamer that's upset about it? You know, I'd love to, I'd love to know what you guys and girls think. Because I know there is a real sort of mix of emotions about this title. Um, so I'd love to know where you stand on this, but personally, you know, I couldn't be any happier about this announcement. I think it's absolutely fantastic and uh, I can't wait for March 2020 now. Oh man, what a time to be alive. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't ever think that another Half-Life game was going to happen. You know, the last sort of Half-Life uh, game just left us on a cliffhanger and never really answered the questions that we wanted to be answered. And I wonder if this game will answer some of those questions or whether it will leave that for another game in the future. I have no idea. But of course, as well, this is going to be the first of, of three, apparently, uh, VR titles coming from Valve. So I just can't wait to see what comes next as well. Like a, a Left 4 Dead in VR would be my ultimate dream game after this one. So if, if they can make that happen as well, then I think VR gamers are going to be very happy. But I think this is one of those titles that can really bring VR into the mainstream. You know, everyone's been talking about it this week, regardless of whether it's a good thing, they think it's a good thing or a bad thing. So it's great that VR is getting uh, the spotlight shone on it right now and i think with a game like this we can prove to the gamers out there that you know vr isn't a gimmick like it hasn't been a gimmick for many years now we've got some really solid headsets and some really solid titles out right now so you know now as you can see is the perfect time to invest and get on the hype train with us and enjoy some incredibly immersive games in virtual reality because i think a common misconception from people out there is that you know VR is a gimmick, a bit like, you know, sort of 3D TVs or, you know, the virtual boy back in the day that it's just going to die. But, you know, VR has been here for a long time now and it's just getting better and better and going from strength to strength. So, like I said, I think now is the perfect time uh, to invest in a VR headset. So there we have it. That is the Half-Life Alex trailer and my reaction to it. I'm so, so excited. 
If you're interested uh, in VR and you want to stick around and follow uh, what's going on in the industry, feel free to subscribe and turn the notifications on so you can learn more about what's coming out as I give a lot of information about hardware and, of course, the latest games that are coming out as well. So feel free to subscribe if you're new here and follow me on this epic journey up until Half-Life Alex is released, where, of course, I'll be playing it on the channel. But, of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below again. Leave a like if you like this video and you're hyped for Half-Life Alex in VR. And make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. So as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.